I'm back in Atlanta and boxes are everywhere. Yeah, there are so many coaster announcements that I literally am like juggling knives trying to do everything. And if you juggle anyway like I do, it's more like playing five finger play. Thanks for tuning in to Rob's Rides and Rob keeping it 100 with all things amusement. And if you're watching this, I agree. A laptop is the only school supply you need. Finally, the moment we've been waiting for. The sew-in. Because if not, it's just a sack of hair. It's kind of like a girl's dorm bathroom. Cedar Point is proud to announce Still Venom. Oh crap, we already used that one. Um, Still Vengeance. There you go. Which one should I talk about first? The coaster or the trailer? Let's get this trailer out the way so I can put my rant into a Tupperware and let it cool down in the refrigerator. Let me begin with what the hell did I just watch? It looks like a cheap fan fiction comic of Magnificent Seven. I saw that train animation and I thought it was something from Bass and Rankin. The 2D! Not even the stop motion. It, it, it falls in hand. Even a miracle needs a hand. So you hope and I'll hurry. You pray and I'll plan. We'll do what's necessary. Cause even a miracle needs a hand. Apparently there was a small mining town and then this guy named Maverick came and made it better and three old people that can't adjust to change um, became outcasts and then they came back and made something even newer. They mentioned the trio of outcasts. I kind of wish they would have just named the coaster outcast. That way I can sing Miss Jackson in the line. Sorry Miss Jackson, ooh, I am for real. I'm gonna sing it anyway. There's three of these outlaws. I'm assuming maybe they'll name each train off of each one. There's Digger, whose name originally started with an N, but they decided that may be a tad inappropriate. There's that chick named after a board game, and then there's that guy named after a card game. The story's too complicated and too long and too irrelevant. Has nothing to do with the coaster experience. Seriously, Cedar Fair needs to stop with these overlong themed backgrounds and really work on naming these rides. The last good name for a coaster that Cedar Fair made was Banshee, and that name was came up like 20 years ago. And the narrator sound like his breath stank. I'm done ranting. Okay, this ride literally gave me anxiety when I watched this POV. I did not think that that top hat, the second large hill top hat, was supposed to go that fast. I don't even know if our bodies can withstand that much force. What are we, astronauts? Hey, with your hands up, astronaut! So based on the POV, you start out of the station and a curve towards the lift hill like normal. And then it starts to do those little bumps that RMC Coasters does because they, they want to make their coaster look like it's coming straight from a Dr. Seuss book. Go up. Go down! Red face, black out! Meanwhile, the color scheme looks like you're rolling on some old Twizzlers stacked on top of Kit Kat bars. Hey, may as well put it in Hershey Park. Probably would've had better theming. Or not. You rise up this massive 205 foot tall hill because Cedar Point loves to be more hyper than a child who just drank their first frappuccino. Then you dive 90 degrees and reach 74 miles per hour like your Val Raven that just came out a year ago. Those curving top hats look like they shouldn't be legal. Not even joking. The whole zero G roll in and out of from under the lift hill just looks like it'll give you like cartoon. Cartoon? Looks like it'll give you those cartoon spirally eyes. I swear just watching it I felt like there was a little bird just flying in circles over my head and then I realized it was a mosquito. Like I don't know if that was a stall or 
because that was a speedy ass stall. Like when you, when all the other urinals are filled, or when it's that one urinal between the two guys, and you're like, "Fuck that!" All the airtime hills really look like they're gonna just chop off your thighs. But given Sky Rush is still in operation, and that would be the first ride to chop off anyone's thighs, I think you'll be fine. Yeah, those those bars are gonna be grasping more thighs than a Popeyes employee. The drop off of the mid-course break run was giving me so much Vortex vibes. I love the surprise um, zero-G rolls underneath the wooden structure. There was one point where the hill literally, they had a hill that was sideways. Like it literally curved up, went out and back inward at the hill and then finished the curve. The end looked like it would never end. It's just like up, down, up, down, up, down. All good things come to an end. You hear that nut job? An end. End. I'm kidding, nut job was never good. But really, what bad can anyone say about this ride? Like, it's over a mile long. It gives the same amount of airtime that we give Paris Hilton now. 27 seconds. So what are your thoughts about this ridiculous roller coaster? Um, Please comment below, let me know. Uh, please share this to everybody that's excited about this roller coaster. Um, hit that thumbs up always. And if you thought it was Rant City, hit subscribe and I'll come back with a new video. Soon! <laughs>